Hello. I strained my neck and it hurts like hell, but stuff still happened. So what's up? That was not a joke. I am in a lot of pain. Bear with me today. In fact, my mic is a bit heavy. I'll be switching hands because this is the side that hurts. Anyway, Starbucks really just hates their employees. After very recently testifying to Congress about all the union labor violations they've done, Starbucks turned around and fired the person who was basically patient zero for all the unionizations at Starbucks. This is because, again, Starbucks hates their employees and thinks of them as less than dirt. The official reason this person was given for why they're being let go is because they were late four times over their seven year history at the company. And two of those four times, they were late by one minute. But in deference, says some straw man off in the distance waiting to lick a boot, a company can do whatever they want. It's a private company and they can let go of their employees. No, Mr. Straw Man, that is not how it works. Wrongful termination is a thing. Workers' rights is a thing. You can't violate them because we're human beings with rights. And the point of regulations is to protect people, you know, from companies that would stomp all over you if they had the option. Child labor laws, for example, are labor laws. And they exist because heartless capitalists would employ children at dirt wages if they had the opportunity. And, and they do, even when they don't have the opportunity. All right, moving on. Starbucks is a trash company. Don't buy their shit coffee. Man, this arm is just not, not built to hold this mic long term. Sonic the Hedgehog is dead, but you can investigate his murder. On April 1st, Sega released an official and full visual novel game in which Sonic gets murdered in a train murder mystery. They have stated the game is not canonical, which is how they can literally kill Sonic and get away with it. The game takes place during Amy's birthday party, and if you're not familiar with who Amy is in the Sonic franchise, I strongly recommend against Googling for it. Just a lot of dumb Twitter bullshit. I too am tired of talking about this stupid bird site, so let's be brief. First, Elon said they were gonna take away blue check marks, and then they didn't kind of do that, they sort of did, but instead they just made it so that you can't tell if someone's a legacy verified account or someone who's paying Elon Musk for a blue check mark. This is like the worst of both worlds because people who had legacy verified accounts are just pissed because they might be mistaken for someone who paid Elon Musk. And almost definitely they didn't remove the blue check marks because they couldn't figure out how to do it. They did, however, remove the blue check mark from the New York Times account. And I don't care about the New York Times, but the story happened because Twitter is gonna charge $1,000 a month for companies to keep their check mark. So if you're a publication, you have to shell out quite a bit of money, except for apparently the people in the very top tiers of companies that are followed on Twitter, they get a buy. Anyway, Elon seemingly like personally removed their check mark and then took a bunch of pot shots at them because they've been critical of him. Because he's a baby. Elon, you've got me out here defending the New York Times. Come on. Anyway, I take that back. Fuck the New York Times and any publication who thinks that they have to be on Twitter because you're lending credence to this insane man. You are a news publication. Publish a fucking RSS feed. You decided to close your platform down and only post on social media sites that are owned by tech conglomerates. You could very easily embrace the open web. Moving on, my neck hurts so bad. Swi switching hands again. RIP E3, it's gone, almost assuredly. If you're not familiar, E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo, is the, the gaming mecca. It was where we had a whole bunch of major announcements across years of gaming. Consoles are announced there, major game franchises were announced there, and now it's gone. They've had a tumultuous history for a little while and they've been canceled a bunch between like COVID and developers pulling out instead of doing big presentations there. And at this point, every developer is just doing the Nintendo method of just making direct to consumer video presentations or whatever. And E3 is just a thing of the past. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Like E3 gave us my body is ready and 599 US dollars. Like good memes came from this thing, but all good things must come to an end. Anyway, Iranian women are fucking badass. As you probably heard, Iranian women have been protesting having to wear a hijab out in public and, and they've been not doing that. And a video went viral recently of two women who were harassed for not wearing one. They were harassed in a store and the store owner confronted the harasser and the store owner also got in trouble. The president of Iran has made a statement that it is the law of the land that you must wear one these Iranian women have more character and strength than I will ever have. Stand strong in your righteous fury. Speaking of women, TikTokers Mercury Stardust and Alluring Skull did a long live stream in which they raised over a million, approaching $2 million for trans healthcare. So like, hell yeah. 
Yet again, women out here setting examples of how to bring more good to the world. Okay, oh my God, we're at rapid fire. Here we go. Apple weather has been really messed up recently. It's not just your phone. Blizzard has been accused of violating labor laws during unionization efforts at Blizzard. Not to be outdone, Elon Musk was found guilty of violating labor laws from a 2018 tweet. Italy banned chat GPT out of privacy concerns and other things, and then someone made another version of it called Pizza GPT that's available in Italy. Google's Bard AI is supposed to get more capable soon. We're going to release some kind of like digital memoir thing about Steve Jobs' life that has like, I guess his emails and personal work and whatnot. Anyway, it's dropping on April 11th and it's kind of like a online museum. The US Congress is moving to ban Chinese crane software. The bill in Tennessee that's supposed to ban drag shows has been temporarily blocked by a judge. After the announcement of the Trump indictment, Trump's campaign says that they've raised at least $4 million. And finally for today, in a bizarre twist, Russia is going to lead the UN Security Council this month. So that's makes sense. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and the status updates on if my neck is healed or not. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back when I'm healed, hopefully Wednesday. Take care and be well.